everyone welcome back to my channel i'm working on a series of pink flamingo resin paintings i have a big one going on um but i didn't like the panel that i was doing it on so i went out and bought a 18 by 24 cradled um wood panel so that's going to be like dozens of pink flamingos so they're kind of cute caricatures um i finished these two they'll be on my etsy store for sale either in a group of three i'm going to show you on this one how i make them they're quite simple to make it's just that you have to make them in stages so i'm going to show you the first step i'll move these out the way these are 12 by 12 cradled canvases. At this point, I don't need to mask off the side. And I get my hot glue gun. And the first thing I decide is which bits am I going to block off? So I really want to color their bodies first. So I have to block off everything. Let me just put my, my daylight on. So I block off everything outside their heads and necks, basically. And make sure I've got enough glue. Okay, that's all the hot gluing done. And now the best thing to do is just get these, you know, these nasty strings that you get with hot glue. Make sure they're not in any of the bodies. I'll just take them off everywhere, to be honest, because they're just annoying. And you see that I have also masked off the beak. I'll take that off tomorrow. When the resin has dried on the bodies. These stringy bits. God, I burnt my finger. Look, there's a blister. Ugh. Remember, hot glue gun is hot. Um, what's the other thing I was going to say to you? Oh, right. So when you're doing the edges, make sure you build up a nice big, um, thick wall of glue because your resin needs a kind of dam. I'm going to mix up some resin and I'm gonna pour it into each body. And I've blocked off the eyes too. Right, let me mix some resin. And by that, I'm gonna mix different shades of pink. You see, this one, I wanted to do something different to have like an odd one out, a yellow one. Um, and I've always got to have like they're kind of diva penguins or one uh, penguins, pink flamingos. Um, one of them has to always have like a diva look to her. 
um, assuming they're all female, which they're not. So I haven't decided. See, this one definitely looks like a male to me. He looks like a big, strong one. Um, I think my Dave is going to be this one because she's kind of looking up and she's got her eye raised up as if to say, oh my God. So she might be my Patsy from Absolutely Fabulous. Um, yeah, she's going to be my diva. And the colours I'm using are Rose Quartz. Where's that gone? Here, and I put some glitter in there. Um, lipstick Pink. Dusty Rose. Salmon. And for the little baby, I've, I've mixed a mixture of rose quartz and ghost violet with a tiny bit of glitter in it. And these colours are all Naked Fusions um, Lux Mica pigments, which are fab and can't remember if I told you, but the resin I'm using is Naked Fusions resin and it is a one-to-one. -one. So I'm just going to do my diva first. She's got some glitter. And I've taped just this side because any resin is only going to drip down here. So I'm just going to spread this on her body, around her face. Now you can see why you need the barrier. And when these are all done and the beaks are done and the background is done, the whole thing gets sanded down and a clear coat goes over the top because you'll find that each each thing that you do, the body or the beak or the eyes or even the background are sometimes have different depths. So we sand it down. So the flamingo's bodies are all done and I definitely think that looks like the dad of a little baby. Baby's so cute. So cute. Um, okay and now I am just going to torch them to get the bubbles out. I know this is hard to kind of envisage the process, but uh, that's why I wanted to show you two that I've finished already because otherwise you would think, what the heck is she up to now? None of this makes sense. And it kind of did take me a while <laughs> to work out this process but it's so cute. All right, we'll be back when they're dry and we'll get on with the next step. Good morning, everyone. This is the easy bit. So I have my isopropyl alcohol. 
this happens to be 99% but you don't have to use 99% for this you could use your 91% or your 70% um, this is just what I happen to have and to get um, hot glue off wood this is the easy easy way so you just let it put it on I'm just using a makeup swab from the dollar store and then you'll see that it just peels off really easily without hurting the wood or anything and actually I don't even think I need that I think I could do it with a toothpick but it gets under under the glue and doesn't stick to the resin. The only issue you'll get is if the resin has got on top of the glue. I'm now going to do the top part of the beak, the white part. Come on, glue gun, don't break on me. to put a barrier around that and you saw how easy it is to take off this hot glue gun just with um, isopropyl alcohol it comes off very easily so well, I think I'm heading towards a new glue gun. Okay. Nice, deep barrier. I'm also going to do the whites of the eyes. All right, let's just do the eyes. I've already mixed the resin. And when the white is dry, I will then... Um, put the pupils in. I think the eyes are really what gives these pink flamingos their character because you can make them kind of cross-eyed or um, I, don't know. I just think they're very cute. I have lots of personality. And then if you make a little like, mistake, like that one looks a bit squared off you can just take some oh actually it's fine no it's fine no it's settling um and then for the top of the beaks I've mixed a little bit of tiny bit of pink let me show you on the other one just to add I don't know a little bit more character just swish in a little bit of pink into the top part of the beak and Is that glue dry yet? 
Okay, let's do the top of the beak now. Now for their beaks and their beady little eyes. I've already done the gluing um, barrier for the outline of their beaks because you've already seen that rodeo. And then I noticed on the diva, she had a piece of her face missing. So I've put a little bit of glue there and mixed up a tiny bit of her color with the glitter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give her some plastic surgery poor thing i don't know what i did maybe i chopped it off when i was removing the glue barrier but anyway what i'll do is um you really won't notice because as i said Everything gets a good sanding down. I want it to kind of just overlap this though. Everything gets a good sanding down. There you go, my love. Good as new. And when it dries, it goes a little bit darker. Okay, you'll be lovely as ever. Um, anyway, let's do the beaks. Let's start over here. And this is, again, Lux Mica Powder. It's called Black Pearl. It's not like a jet, jet black, which is why I like it. It's kind of like a soft black. And then the baby. Great. I'm sure you all have hot glue guns, but if you don't, go and get one. They're really cheap and they're so handy for so many different projects. Mine's always getting yanked out the drawer. Okay, so I'm gonna pop the air bubbles. Surprise how many bubbles are in such a little teeny bit of resin. Now you've got a gap at the end of your beak. There. And you seem to be a bit gappy here. Okay, now the eyeballs. Alright, let's that glue, what's that stringy bit of glue again? Let's get that out of the way. I'm gonna use the end of a toothpick and there's more of it. It's, oh, I put some, let me take that off. I put some glue, oh, I can take that off later because it's not gonna affect his eye. I put some glue just around his eye because the white was leaking. So I'm just going to dip this in and just place his eye. Now you see the characters really come to life. <laughs> and the baby's going to have like really kind of Surprised eyes. <laughs> it's 
so cute. And you don't have to use the heat gun on the eyes. And the diva is going to be looking up. Like she's saying, oh my Lord. Okay, so put those away. And then once that's dry, we'll take the glue off and put the background on. Back to my pink flamingos. I've mixed my resin and the pigment that I've added to this is Naked Fusions Tropical Sea. Um, it's they're all looking a bit kind of scabby right now but that's fine um, there's a good ridge between them all this is going to be a tricky bit as is this and this and I have some tiny brushes which are basically well, they're so tiny like little makeup brushes, dollar store goodies. So I am going to, I hope this is opaque enough. Yeah. Um, Cause actually if you look at, let me see if you can see close up on this one. I don't know if you can see here, if you look at these close up, you can actually still see the grain of the wood through these, which I love. It gives it kind of that beachy, beachy look. So I am just going to apply it cautiously without trying to go over the edge of my flamingos. And then once this stage is done, um, I've taped around all the edges, by the way. Once this step is done, it will all get sanded down. And the, when I put the clear coat on, it's going to be more like a flood, flood coat. So I'm definitely going to look and sand this area and um, the edges of their neck. And, um, and then once that's dry, then we'll put on her pearl necklace and her earrings. We're going to get these diva pink flamingo pieces finished today. This is the last one. I've put the diva's jewelry on, her necklace and earrings. The background's finished. All I have to do now is coat of resin and the trilogy is finished. Um, as I said, I'm gonna put it on my Etsy store as a trilogy. And I'll also put them on individually, but I think they really will do great as a trilogy. Okay, peeps, I'm going to pour my resin on my final diva.
and let me get my spreader here is my final coat of resin and we will come back in the morning and all I need to do now is pop the air bubbles and that's it. I'll see you in the morning. Take the side mar uh, maskings off and put them all together. My diva pink flamingos are finished. My trilogy, this was my last one. Diva, diva, diva. So I hope you all enjoyed seeing this process. Let me know what you think, if I should create a series of them, some little maybe postcards, um, more like this maybe a diva with a book and over her wing um, let me know in the comments below what you thought and if you haven't subscribed don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell for all so you get all the notifications of new videos and these will be on my etsy store thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye